All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Dell Latitude Model E6420. All right, so first thing you wanna do is remove the battery. Just pull these two tabs to the side. It'll pop up like this, or they'll stay out, and then you can pull up this and pull it out. When you put it back, you wanna put it back in at that angle and then push that back down, okay? All right, once you do that, you want to take the CD drive out here. There's a little push button here. Push that, it'll pop out, and then you pull this thing to get the CD drive out. All right, if you want to change the hard drive, it's a two and a half inch hard drive. So there's four screws here. Just remove those four screws. After that, you can use this tab to pull it out, and it comes out just like this, okay? If you put it back, you kind of have to tilt it so that it tilts up at this angle. So when you install it, try and keep it up towards the top while kind of twisting it to keep it up and then you'll feel it slot in. If your hard drive is loose, so right now you can see the hard drive stays in, but if you push it down here, you can see it's a lot more loose. It doesn't stay in as easily. And that means you didn't put it in the slot properly. Okay, so we can set that aside. There's a two and a half inch hard drive. To remove this, there's one screw here. You can take that screw out and then you can slide this thing off. You can kind of rotate it away and you can put this on a new hard drive. So two and a half inch SATA hard drive or SSD. Okay, after that, you wanna remove all the screws. There's two screws underneath the hard drive. So we already moved these four, and then you gotta remove these others. Keep all the screws in order because they are different sizes and shapes, uh, but there's another one, two, three, four, Let's see, five, six, seven, seven screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So seven screws up here, and then you got the four for the hard drive and the two down here. All right. Once you do that, you can get your fingernail or pry tool underneath this little part of this cover, and then you can kind of pull this up, wiggle it around, and pull this out. Okay. So there you go. That's how you remove the cover. So I'm just going to do a quick showing of what's inside. But um, you got the RAM in here. Just pull these two tabs to the side. And you can see it's PC3 12800S. Okay, so that's the type of RAM that's in here. My customer was saying this computer was getting kind of warm, so I'm gonna see if I can open it up, maybe redo the thermal paste, but it doesn't look too dusty, so I don't know if there's much else they can do besides that. Okay. So you got the wireless card here, like every other video. So somebody opened this and did stuff with it before. But like with every other video, the wireless antennas, you just pull up on the tail. There's one screw. If you want to see how to do that, you can watch my other videos. I'm not going to really show much else in this computer. There's the CMOS or the BIOS battery here. And you also got the speakers, speaker connector here. All right. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe. I know I didn't really show too much, but yeah. Hopefully it helped. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right. So here's a part two. Uh, my customer actually wanted me to redo the thermal paste since it was running kind of warm. But anyways, the fan connector is here. Okay. To remove that, you kind of just get your fingernails or tools between and you kind of just wiggle and pull that up. All right. You want to remove all of these five screws. So there's four here and then there's one more screw in here. So this screw is different from the other four. So keep that in mind. Um, there is this protrusion of plastic or metal here, so when you lift it up, it might be a little difficult. Um, you might want to lift it from this side, okay? So, <clears throat> I already lifted it up, but normally the thermal paste will be on there pretty solid. You don't want to try and yank up on the heat pipe here because it's very fragile and it can bend easily. So you want to kind of pry up on here. If you want, you can take like a tool, get underneath, and then kind of just slowly pull it up. You don't want to put a lot of force on it or you can damage the computer. Okay, so just pull it up like that. And then you can pull this out. So the paste under here is pretty dried up, so we are going to have to clean that off and then put some new paste. So I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay. So first what you want to do is clean off this stuff. Uh, to do that, let me see if I can show it. I need kind of like a trash can here. Give me a second. So basically grab a trash can, grab a piece of paper, and then just rub this stuff off into the trash can. Okay. Just like that. I will have to go get some rubbing alcohol. Okay, so just rub this stuff off. If this stuff is very, very solid and it won't come off, you might have to spray it with rubbing alcohol and kind of let it sit for a while and then clean it and slowly 
just keep working at it until it all comes out, okay? So just like that, I'm gonna have to clean that off with rubbing alcohol afterwards, but just a basic cleanup for now, okay? And then for the, the chips on the board, because this is, I think, a silver-based paste, you don't want it to get into the electronics. So if you want, um, let me show you here, you can actually take the CPU out of this, but you need a, a flathead screwdriver. Let me grab one. Okay, so, uh oh. Okay, I don't know why my phone overheated so fast, but here we go. I'm gonna try and do this quick because I don't want it to overheat again. But basically, get a flathead screwdriver. There's this little hole here, and then twist it. Okay, make sure you twist it the right way, counterclockwise. You don't want to use too much force, it comes out pretty easily. And then you can take the CPU out. Okay, so, oh, why is it stuck? It should come up pretty easily. I don't know why it's stuck in there. So I guess let's try twisting it the other way. And then twist it again. Oh, okay. I did have to twist it a bit more. I didn't twist it all the way. Okay, so counterclockwise, make sure you twist it all the way. Right, then you can lift the chip out just like this. Be careful. You don't want to bend these pins. They are pretty fragile. And once you bend them, there's no way you're going to be able to fix it. Okay, so I'm going to get the trash can. I'm going to hold the CPU. If you want to be safe, you might not want to take the CPU out um, because it is a little dangerous if you accidentally bend the pins. But uh, I'm just going to clean off all this extra thermal paste, okay, or the old thermal paste. Okay, I do it this way because I don't want the thermal paste to fall into the board and mess everything up. But once you get most of it off, you can put it back in. The other thing you want to do uh, that you can do, because the other chip you can't take it out like this, but you can hold the computer upside down and then wipe it off like that. So I'm going to probably do that side off, off camera because I won't be able to hold that. Like you won't be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to be holding the thing upside down <laughs> under the camera. So there we go. So clean that off. As you can see, there is still some silver paste residue. But we are going to put this back in. Okay, make sure you put it back the right way. There's a little arrow on the CPU and then there's an arrow on the board that kind of tells you which way it goes. So just make sure to drop it back on the right way. It should fall into the slots pretty nicely, okay? And then once you do that, just make sure it's in place and then you can twist this back over. Okay, all right, so right now, if you can tell, it's vertical this way, and then when you remove it, you twist it all the way vertical the other way, okay? So, and then make sure it's holding in place, okay, that's good. All right, so this little chip, I'm gonna hold it upside down over the trash can and then wipe it off. So I probably won't have this in view of the camera, or actually, I'll just pause the camera for now but you'll get the idea. All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Sometimes the stuff here can be a little tricky to get off, so I use a toothbrush because it gets caught in these little capacitors and stuff, okay? So you can just brush it out and that'll get the stuff out of the little crevices. Okay, I'm gonna use this and blow the junk out. Okay, so again, once you get most of the chunks of stuff off, You'll want to use some isopropyl alcohol. This is 91%, but just put a little bit on there and then just rub the excess off, okay? If you have a more durable paper towel, you'll probably want to use that so that way it doesn't get lint everywhere, but I just use the air blowing thing to clean it all off after. Okay, so clean it all off just like that. Okay, and then of course you want to get the stuff off the other side as well. So let me make sure I clean off all this lint. Dry it up, pull off the lint. Okay, so you want to get the excess off of this as well. Oops, I damaged that. All right, you want to get the excess off of that as well. So make sure you get 
a good amount of rubbing alcohol and just rub this copper area off. Okay. So this will remove the residue as well as any um, corrosion, or not corrosion, oxidation. Okay, so you can see it's turning like a dark gray. You don't have to get it completely out, just good enough so that it doesn't get too dirty when you wipe it. All right. So there we go. All right. Okay, so let's see here. This isn't too bad. Let me clean the fan out a little bit as well. Okay. All right, so now we got that all clean. Now what we need is the thermal paste, okay? So for this, you actually don't use too much. Let me see if I can show you before my phone overheats. But for here, you use maybe about the size of a grain of rice, okay? All right. And then you want it kind of as a line in the middle. Actually put a little bit too little, I think. Okay, that might be too much now. But yeah, if you put too much, it just overflows over the side and that doesn't really help with getting rid of the heat. So you kind of want it like a grain of rice, rounded like a lump of grain, uh, rice, and then in the middle is a little bit fatter. So this one, since it's a square, you kind of just want like a, a ball. But this one also, the paste needs to be a bit thicker. So even though this surface is a, uh, a lot smaller, you'll probably want about equal amount, okay? So just like that, okay? But then you wanna shape it into a ball. Okay, just like this. And try and get it in the center. Okay, so now that you got the thermal paste, everything is clean. You just want to put this back on top. Again, remember that, let's see here. This metal piece is extended here, so you do have to put this side in first. And then you just lay the rest down. Okay, make sure you get it lined up properly before you drop it in place. It's kind of hard to see since the camera's overhead. Okay, and then just put that down in place all right so they actually number which screws the order you should put the screws in so just put them in that order so there's one okay and I don't tighten them all the way um, so as you can see I twist it backwards first to hear the click and then one two three four five all right so one two and then the third one's on this side one two three four five okay fourth one's here one, two, three, four, five. And then you got the fifth one here, okay? Two, three, four, five, all right? After that, you just go one, two, all right? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now it's tightened, so tighten this all the way. Okay, tighten it all the way. Tighten it all the way. Tighten that all the way. And that all the way okay and then give it a little bit you can plug this in while you're waiting all right plug the connector back in make sure you clip it down all the way <clears throat> all right and then just make sure the screws are tight one more time okay all right so that's all there is to redoing the thermal paste so hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. And my phone is overheated again. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.